What's going on, Bitcoiners? Hope everybody's having a good day. Taking it easy, looking at the market. Um, one of the things I wanted to make sure some of the people who are into Bitcoin or who are getting started wanted to make sure they realize it is having a hardware wallet or having a way to store your Bitcoins offline, very, very important. Uh, you don't want to keep it on exchanges. You don't want to keep a lot amount, a lot of Bitcoin uh, in your phone wallets. Uh, or any other wallet that's attached uh, technology wise. All right, so today I want to talk about uh, hardware storage. And one good example of that I've seen um, is Open Dime. Uh, as you can see, uh, Bitcoin Credit Stick, which is basically a, a way to put your Bitcoin on a uh, on a hardware wallet and use it sort of like Bitcoin Cash, like they say, like a dollar bill, pass along multiple times, uh, things of that nature. All right. So some of the features they have: uh, USB drive, easy to, to put in, no trust. Uh, nobody knows the private key, so they won't steal it. Ultra secure, free to use, um, simple as a handshake. Uh, compatible with a lot of Bitcoin features. Open standards. Those are some of the things they show. Uh, as their features, so got me a few open downs here, and what I want to do is go ahead and test one out so you can see what I mean. Uh, so let's plug that in. All right, so. Got it plugged in. It's blinking green, so looks like a good sign as far as it's about to work. So let's see where we at. Where'd it go? Yeah, let's take a look at some of this other <clears throat> stuff. Easy verification for Chrome, which is what I'm using now. So um, I'll use that. It's like a piggy bank, instant and off chain, which is good. So one of the biggest things you want to realize too is not that you want to hide your money or that you want to keep it away from certain uh, from certain people, but as far as in the Bitcoin world, you do want to keep it from hackers. You do want to keep it from people who, who shouldn't have it. But if you have family members who want Bitcoin, it's a lot easier to explain it to them if you hand them this and give it to them on a flash drive. So I'll show you what I mean. And when you open it the first time, you want to go to README. Uh, open, open, down, blah, blah, blah. This first hasn't, it's not running, blah, blah, blah. Broken, if it will stay in this field state. Yeah, good green. So, you want to read through that? Yeah. Read through that Then you want to open the HTML file, HTM file, open it. I'm using Chrome right now. I actually prefer Brave for what it's doing, but it does crash a lot right now. Um, once it gets fixed, I'll start using it more, but just for time's sake, I'm using Chrome. Get together, Brave. I'm ready to get off these uh, <laughs> these snooping browsers, but yeah. Open down. You'll see a uh, legal agree to terms. Okay. And let it get set up here. It's new and I use blah blah blah. So open your file explorer, look for open DOM, which I have here. Alright, already have it open. Copy files onto open DOM until at least 256k bytes have saved. Just add 256k worth bytes worth of files. So I just grab some. Uh, then you open down. You want to click on the index HTML file. When it comes up, the directions are right there. But basically, all you want to do is just add any file. Usually one picture. Um, add that file. Uh, what it looks like it does is it verifies that a real person is using it. It reloads itself, and then you'll see uh, the pop-up come, what you want to do with it. Once you see that, that means that it's done successfully. Also, the light will blink 
repeatedly. So like it says in the directions, you'll see that. Reload your page, and that's my Bitcoin payment address. So what we're going to do is I'm going to send some Bitcoin to this address and go from there. So using uh, Jack's wallet, by the way, which is pretty pretty regular. So grab that QR code. Uh, let's, let's say let's do 20 bucks just for now. All right. And as you can see, sending 20 bucks. Confirm. All right. So transaction has been sent. And what you want to do is at this point, you'll check your balance, which it may take a minute for it to come through. So it may not be there immediately, but usually up to 10 minutes confirmation time, nothing yet. But when it does come, we'll show that. So that payment has gone through to this address. And what you want to do is check the balance, which you can see here. Uh, equivalent of twenty dollars at the time, 0 0.0047 Bitcoin has gone through. All right, so you literally can just eject this USB at this point, and you have basically twenty bucks or point uh, zero zero four Bitcoins worth of value carrying around with you in your pocket. You can put as much as you want. You can put a million dollars on here and walk around with us a USB drive that's safe, secure, and uh, the private keys are unknown to both parties. So you can be assured that they don't have your private key somewhere uh, once, once somebody hands it off to you and they can hack into it later. So um, very secure way to store your money as well as to use it as to give gifts or as Bitcoin cash, so to say. Um, so very interesting. I would suggest the open down uh, and look out for some more videos about cold wallet storage and uh, different ways to bridge the gap. So thank you for watching. I'm Bitcoin Zay. And leave me a comment about uh, some of your favorite cool wallets. And I'll definitely do some videos on, on some of the best ones. So uh, make sure you tune in with us, uh, KRB Crypto. Uh, and until next time, peace.